I wanted to leave you with one thought. Of course, I've, I've told you sort of two thoughts. I'll be abusive like Tucker was. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for those of you who've been here for the last few days, but I'll cut to the chase in the interest of time because we have so much in store for you for the next little while. And that is every single time that Americans' backs have been at the wall. 1763, French and Indian War. 1776, you know that one. 1781, the first few hours of the Battle of Yorktown, if you know, weren't really a given. The War of 1812, I mean, right where we're sitting, basically, the British were here and the future of this young country was undetermined. Civil War, obviously, both world wars, the wars of more recent times, plus the, the political cataclysms that happen in a republic. Every single time, every single time, no exceptions, people thought it could never be worse. People despaired. People were despondent because of human nature. And yet there's something about the American spirit represented best by that flag that ought to tonight and every night, every night, instill in us a hopefulness about the future. Not just a perseverance, not just the great cardinal virtue of fortitude, which is kind of quintessentially American, but a hopefulness that as we fight, as we charge hills, as we bear the burdens we have, that we always know for the United States of America, bestowed with so many virtues as a society by our creator, there's always more. Thank you for celebrating 50 years with the Heritage Foundation. And don't you ever doubt that when the chips are down, we're gonna be there charging the hill with you. God bless you.